Hey guys, today's video is a quick tutorial on how to change the perspective inside Affinity Designer version 2 and we're using the new warp tool in Affinity Designer version 2 to do so. So um, as an example, we're using the Affinity Designer icon or logo and we can um, do this with any object in Affinity Designer. So first we need to select the object and then we need to navigate in the layers tab right here to warp which is the new feature in affinity designer version 2 which allows us to change the perspective of objects so we can now click right here click on perspective and we have four nodes to change the perspective of objects and um, we can for example click on one or select multiple nodes to move we can select this one hold down shift to move in straight lines and to the bottom this one a little bit to the top to create a perspective like this. We could also do it the other way around by selecting again, clicking perspective and then moving this one to the bottom and this one a little bit to the top. Or we could also create a perspective like this one by selecting this one to the left and this one to the right um, of those four nodes. And as you can see, you have plenty of possibilities to create cool perspectives with this new warp feature in Affinity Designer version 2. And one important thing to keep in mind, um, sometimes it's a little bit buggy with um, quick FX effects, like for example, outer shadow. So if you have um, this perspective, for example, and we go quite quick FX and we go outer shadow like this and select a shadow, we see that the shadow is only applied to our original um, object logo, so not to our new perspective. And to fix this, we need to convert our um, object with the new perspective into curves. So we can select and click convert to curves. And now we can give it, for example, outer shadow or any other um, effect which is not working and it will now work but you have to keep in mind that now you've um, lost the ability to adjust your um, perspective so because it's now curves it's fixed and for the other objects you can click again right here to um, get those four nodes to change the perspective so just keep that in mind this fixes the problem but also makes it impossible to adjust again and yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye